A very good morning, children. Uh, in the last class, I had started the new lesson from your supplementary reader book. That is lesson seven, the necklace. So let's recall what we learnt in the last class, and then I will proceed further with the same chapter. We came to know that Matilda was very pretty, but due to ill fate, she was born in a family of clerks, and she had no dowry, no hopes, and uh, uh, so she married a clerk, Mister Lozell, who worked in the education board office, and. uh matilda she was always uh, unhappy okay because uh, she didn't get what she always wanted so one evening her husband returned home and uh, he was very happy uh, because uh, they were invited at a party at the minister's residence but still matilda was unhappy and her husband uh, uh just uh, wanted to convince her that really it's the party of the selected people okay but the girl told that she don't have any pretty dress to wear and she began to weep cry okay so her husband got uh, also sorrowful and uh, he told her that she could buy a new dress and for that he was uh, ready to pay 400 francs okay which he had uh, saved to join some hunting parties so that she could buy a new dress till here i explained you isn't it children so now let's continue further what happens then okay whether she got the new dress and all so here uh, just 400 francs was given to matilda to get a new dress now look in your book children and be with me The day of the ball approached, and Madame Lucille seemed sad, disturbed, anxious. Nevertheless, her dress was nearly ready. Her husband said to her one evening, "What's the matter with you? You have acted strangely for two or three days." So now, the day of the ball means that dance party. It uh, approached near. It was very near. Okay, and. um uh, madam lucel still she seemed very sad she was also little bit disturbed and even anxious okay though her dress was ready still she was behaving in such a strange way so her husband asked her one evening that uh, what's the matter why she is behaving in that way okay from last two three days she was behaving little bit strangely and she responded i am vexed not to have a jewel nothing to adorn myself with i shall have such a poverty striken look i would prefer not to go to this party he replied you can wear some natural flowers in this season they look very chic so what she responded that she is very vexed vexed means sorrowful okay she is very grieved sorrowful why because she don't have the jewels that matches her dress and that's why uh, she has nothing to adorn means uh, just to decorate herself okay and uh, that's why she will have a, a look full of poverty that's why she decided not to join the party so what uh, mr lozel replied that she can use the natural flowers instead of those artificial jewels and in this season they look very chic so he just wanted to convince that you can use natural flowers to look you uh, to look very beautiful chic means beautiful she was not convinced no she replied there is nothing more humiliating than to have a shabby air in the midst of rich women but she didn't get uh, satisfied with that answer and she said that that it will be more humiliating means insulting to have that shabby that dirty look in the midst of in amongst the rich women all present over there then her husband cried out how stupid we are go and find your friend madam forestier and asked her to lend you her jewels so her husband uh, he remembers that she had one of her friends who was very rich so he just uh, gave her an idea to go to madam forestier and to get the jewels of her, of the uh, dress matching okay she uttered a cry of joy it is true she said i had not thought of that so she was very happy listening this she agreed to that 
and she said that really she never thought of that okay the next day she took herself to her friend's house and related her story of distress madam forester went to her closet took out a large jewel case brought it opened it and said choose my dear so the next day itself uh, matilda she went to her friend's house who was madam forester and first of all she told her story of distress distress means trouble and sorrow that how much uh, sad she is so madam forester she understood her pain she went to her closet means almira she took out that box full of jewels she brought and opened it and asked her to choose any jewels of her choice from that she saw at first some bracelets then a collar of pearls then a venetian cross of gold and the jewels of admirable workmanship she tried the jewels before the glass hesitated but could neither decide to take them nor leave them then she asked have you nothing more so uh, when the box was opened first of all she saw some bracelets bracelets you know very well ornaments for the wrists and then a collar of pearls collar of pearls means uh, necklace made up of pearls and then a venetian venetian means of venice okay which is made in venice especially that place what was that that was a cross of gold and the jewel seems so praiseworthy that it were made by any skilled artists only okay that so beautiful jewelry were there so she started uh, just to try the jewelry before the glass but she was hesitated because she couldn't decide either to take them or to leave them so she asked that uh, whether she has more jewelry apart from this why yes look for yourself i do not know what will please you so now when matilda she was not getting satisfied with that she demanded little bit more jewelry so her friend said that yeah you just look whatever you want of your choice and that pleases you suddenly she discovered in a black satin box a superb necklace of diamonds her hands trembled as she took it out she placed it about her throat against her dress and was ecstatic then she asked in a hesitating voice full of anxiety could you lend me this only this why yes certainly so suddenly she found okay what she found in a black satin box satin is a uh, uh, one of the fine shining cloth satin cloth if you have heard okay so in that black satin box a very beautiful necklace of diamonds was there when she took that in her hands her hands started trembling shaking okay and she placed it uh, near her neck above her dress and she was ecstatic means she was filled with great joy because she got what she wanted and she asked in a hesitating voice that could you please lend me this only this one particular necklace i need only this so madam forester also agreed uh, definitely you can take it now she fell upon the neck of her friend that is showing that how overwhelmed she was how much uh, uh, anxious and happy she was so she fell upon her friend's neck embraced hugged her with uh, excitement and then she took that treasure treasure means that costly item along with her the diamond necklace the day of the ball arrived madam lozel was a great success she was the prettiest of all elegant gracious smiling and full of joy all the men noticed her asked her name and wanted to be presented so here that day arrived okay and ball means i told you the party madam lozel now she was fully prepared to attend that party and in that party she was the prettiest looking lady so elegant so very beautiful gracious means full of grace smiling and she was very cheerful very happy that day and she was looking so pretty that all the men present over there they noticed her they were looking at her 
and they were asking her name and they wanted uh, just to dance along with her so she danced with enthusiasm that was a dance party so she also participated with full excitement intoxicated with pleasure thinking of nothing but all this admiration this victory so complete and sweet to her heart means she was so fully excited that she had gone intoxicated means mad with her joy okay and nothing she could think about all the praises that she the appreciate she was appreciated for her beauty that day by everyone so this was the victory for her it was a complete victory and really touched her heart she went home towards 4 o'clock in the morning her husband had been half asleep in one of the little salons since midnight with three other gentlemen whose wives were enjoying themselves very much so now that day she enjoyed the party till morning 4 o'clock but her husband mr lozel he due to tiredness he just uh, was taking rest in one of the salons salons means one of the shops from the midnight onwards with other three gentlemen three other men were also there along with him in that salon whose wives were also enjoying in the party along with matilda he threw around her shoulders the modest wraps they had carried whose poverty clashed with the elegance of the ball costume she wished to hurry away in order not to be noticed by the other women who were wrapping themselves in rich furs now what happened when she was returning back that time he here means mr lozel matilda's husband he just uh, put around her shoulders the modest modest means little bit cheap of less cost okay that wrap is the shrug he just uh, put the shrug little bit uh, low cost shrug over her shoulders and what was that they had carried, means that was clashing uh, with that elegance of the ball costume clashing means that was not suiting over that beautiful dress okay which she had worn Uh, in that party because the dress was very beautiful costly one and it was being hidden by that little cheap shrug okay she wished to hurry away in order not to be noticed by the other women who were wrapping themselves in rich furs now matilda she wanted to hurry away from that place why so that no one should notice that that uh, shrug which was being wrapped over her beautiful dress okay that no one all the other rich women were there they should not notice who were covering themselves in rich fur fur here means a very costly item of clothing so they were wearing the costly uh, clothes and that's why she was uh, feeling little bit embarrassed lesel detained her wait said he i'm going to call a cab so mr lozel uh, detained means checked asked her to wait okay he said that wait here let me call one taxi but she would not listen and descended the steps rapidly when they were in the street they found no carriage and they began to seek for one hailing the coachman whom they saw at a distance but uh, she couldn't listen and she descended means climbed down the steps rapidly and when they reached till the street they found no carriage over there and they began to seek they began to uh, find for uh, uh, one okay uh, ha- hailing the coachman whom they saw at a distance hailing means calling coachman means uh, one who drives a horse cart okay so they saw one carriage there and they wanted to call that horse cart whom they saw at some distance they walked along toward the river hopeless and shivering finally they found one of those old carriages that one sees in paris after nightfall now uh they started uh, walking towards the river side they were hopeless that they won't find any further uh, just uh, the transportation facility to go 
and they started shivering means it was very cold outside and shivering finally they found one of those old carriages okay they found one carriage and that one sees means that is found mostly in the paris after the nightfall it took them as far as their door and they went wearily up to their apartment it was all over for her and on his part he remembered that he would have to be at the office by 10 o'clock so the carriage was available now and it took him to their house and they went wearily wearily means tired they were fully tired and they reached to their apartment to their flat and uh, it was the party was all over everything was over and now mr lozel he remembered that he had to join his office tomorrow again by 10 o'clock okay she removed the wraps from her shoulders before the glass for a final view of herself in her glory suddenly she uttered a cry her necklace was not around her neck so reaching home when she removed that wrap okay that shrug from her shoulders which was uh, given to her by mr lozel when she uh, just took it out before the glass for the final view she wanted to just look herself okay in that beautiful dress how pretty she was looking suddenly she uttered means cried in a loud voice because she couldn't find that necklace around her neck now okay means the necklace the diamond necklace which she had borrowed from her friend it was missing from her neck so she uttered a cry so let's stop here children we will continue again in the next class till then goodbye